Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, you do now. My name is Trinity E. Yanti. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Come on y'all, like, I know it's a lot of new y'all. So, let's go on this journey together and let's learn some stuff. Definitely go check out all the other videos. They are great. I do weekly vlogs um, on Sundays or Mondays, like when I post them, but it's usually Sundays. But sometimes it's like the video get delayed. And that's going to be played a part in this video. Because what I'm going to do is this video is going to be like all of the tips you can learn. About like that I learned being a new YouTuber and like the chalk and learn as well. Because you know, I'm not going to gatekeep. I'm not a gatekeeper type person. Like why would I hide something from y'all that I learn myself? Okay. So yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So y'all can get to know me. Y'all can know. And I also, okay, I didn't tell you to finish telling y'all that. I see this is why I get off track. This is why I wrote my notes down so I don't remember so I can remember. Um, I do videos on Sundays and Thursdays or Tuesdays. So Sundays and then one day throughout the week. So yeah. And with that, so let's start with the being consistent. That is one of the biggest things that people ask, like, how do I become more consistent? You need to tell your subscribers, followers, if you're on TikTok, if you're on, um, no matter if you're on TikTok, YouTube, wherever platform you use Instagram, you need to be consistent. But you need to pick two days. For YouTube, you need to pick two days out the week. If you can only post one time, pick one day out the week. And preferably, if you're going to do one day, choose a Sunday. Because I feel like Sunday, everybody is chill. Just chilling at their houses, kickbacks and stuff. So they go on YouTube and stuff like that, watch videos. That's because I know that's what I do at the church. I'm watching YouTube or something. That's why. And then you had to pick like, um, like pick two days. So I chose, like I said, I chose Sunday, Mon uh, Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday. So like pick your two days. So if you're gonna say you're gonna post a, like a week, what I do is I do a weekly vlog on Sundays, and that's like through, for, for, like through my week. And then I do an actual video on, um, like a video, like a, like a content video, like maybe like how I'm doing this one. Like I'm giving y'all YouTube tips from a beginner. That's a video, like, you know, a regular video, but yeah. So choose two, choose two days out the week that you can like this, hold yourself accountable that this day I know I have to post. So you go post. All right. Then, um, also posting like with TikTok, I found that you gotta be consistent so you can keep your followers engaged and stuff like that. So what I decided to do, and this is recent, so I'm still learning. I decided to do two um, posts at least, I'm gonna post every day and I'm post two to three videos every day. Like at least two to three videos. Like I'm gonna do five probably cause I think I did five or six today, but two to three videos each day. And just like one video can, go so far like what like today i did a video i well i recorded like just me on my laptop like watching my video like i basically took my my phone and i was like recording like me typing on my laptop like on um, my youtube channel show my youtube channel and i just changed the title on each one the same video went out six times and i just mixed them like mixed the images like or the videos like in like yeah that and also with picking times that you know people gonna be active for tiktok People are active. I see 7 a.m. because their kids just get on the bus. And I noticed that a lot of my subscribers on TikTok currently are like young girls, people that's still in high school, people that's in college. So there's people that's getting up. So 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., like, you know, around lunchtime when kids getting on their phone at school. Yeah. 3 p.m., like, is when they're getting out and stuff like that. And between, like, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and then late at night, like, you know, when somebody's laid up on TikTok, yeah, post. Like, you know, if you don't think, like, if you don't, like, you know, just just post, really. You don't have to pick the time, but I'm just saying like that. Okay, with trends and stuff like that, to keep up with trends or to keep your stuff active and make sure it gets across, um, picking sounds that are trendy. So, like, picking a sound, even, okay, so basically you don't have to have that, um, like my video, my YouTube video that just went up, like it's a little short that I did Sunday, cause today is Monday. So I did it yesterday. Basically what I did was, um, the song that was on the video was some song that I found like where it's no copyright. And um, so I took that song that was on my video. I used that song. And then when I uploaded it, I put another song behind it 
on TikTok, but I turned that sound down and kept my sound up. And I could definitely do a video if y'all want to know. Just let me know in the comments if y'all want to see demonstrations on how to do this stuff that I'm saying. Because I can definitely do that. And I'll probably do it anyway, but just like remind me, you know. Um, but yeah, picking a sound that's trendy and just putting it under your video. You don't have it don't have to be the sound that you're using. And then also um with that with the copyright stuff make sure you're not getting copyrighted but a way to get around getting copyrighted is just like going on youtube searching um searching non-copyrighted i like like r&b soft music and i've been getting into like well i found this um okay the name of this one is called the it's called is this one right here it's cupid and she got some other ones too. She got some good non-copyrighted music. And I got into like the Christian ones, like, you know, and she got some good non-copyrighted Christian music. So you won't get copyrighted for the song. So basically, yeah. And then they got another one. Let me see. Um, let me just search up some non-copyrighted music. R and B. They got a lot of um I might say this wrong. Scissor size or whatever y'all say. I might say it wrong. I don't care. Um, Summer Walker, Brian, Brent Fit. Yeah. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Like, all them. You know, they got a lot of their music. R&B, no copyright. That's all you guys are doing. And then when you search that up, see, y'all can get the names of the people. You see. Yeah. You see these? I got a whole bunch. You can tell that I didn't listen to all these right there. And basically what I do is I just screen record it and add it in CapCut. And that goes into what I use for editing. And I use CapCut for editing my videos. So basically I insert all my videos in because I do a weekly vlog every week. So I take all those videos and I merge them together on CapCut. You can turn the sound down, you can make it go fast. Cause like when I'm in the gym, I don't want you to like be sitting there for 10 minutes watching me at the gym. So I speed it up and I put music under it and I just screen record my music. And you can add the audio and you can even add TikToks, TikTok sounds in there too. And um, I'm not sure if you can add Apple Music because I feel like that's copyrighted. So yeah, but that's what you could do. Um, I also, for my thumbnails, I use Kavana. I can show y'all cause my iPad. Mm, wait, load. Oh, it's gonna take a minute to load, but um yeah you can see all like my thumbnails and i also made my intro that i just did on there my um my intro and outro i did it on there and that was like it wasn't hard but it was like basically it took me time it took me i feel like it took me longer because i had to figure it out how to do it but yeah i could have did it from the start but yeah you could do your own intro basically what i say is find a video for your intro and outro find a video that you want to like recreate your intro like and um basically take that video and like just try to duplicate what you with what you see like if you know how to edit you can do that and like i said i could do videos on this stuff type of stuff just simply like you know remind me literally in the comment be like do a video on editing and do that yeah i could definitely do that um Tripod. Tripod is a must. Y'all need a tripod. And I'm a bad example for this right now because currently y'all just sitting on my um thing in my room. My like uh, window seat in my room because I left my tripod at home. Well, at my dorm. So yeah, tripod is a must. You need a small one, you need the big one. I got my small one from Sheen the first time. It kind of broke, but it was $2. So it worked for the good time. I, it broke because I think I stepped on it. But yeah. Then I got the other one from Amazon. Both of them were $10. I'm not spending that much money in trouble. You do not need to spend money to do this stuff. You do not need to spend money. You do not need. You don't have to have the most expensive thing. I'm telling you. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Amazon Sheen. Sheen even had stuff. Like, y'all, Amazon Sheen. Sheen, it might take you two weeks to get to your butt. It's the right thing. Okay. Um, recording wise, you do not need no camera. You don't need no Sony, whatever. You don't need no Canon X. Da 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 da. You don't need this. You don't need that. Just use your iPhone, especially if you're first starting off. That's what I'm doing because 
I feel like it's a smarter option to use my phone instead of spending money in what if you never know what if I can't do YouTube no more or something goes wrong where I can't do YouTube or my YouTube doesn't go successful. I don't want to spend money and waste it on something that I can't return. Like you cannot return a camera after using it for such and such long. So you just start with your phone. It's a smart thing to do. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I'm pretty sure all the other phones are perfectly fine too. And um, yeah, that's with that one. Let me see if I got any other tips. Um, so that is, um, mm -hmm. oh, and when I was saying you don't need a camera, if you're going to use your phone, just make sure you have enough storage to do it. But like the way to get around, not having enough storage, I upload my photos to Google photos, Google photos, you get 50 gigabytes free. And then I pay $1.99 a month for a hundred gigabytes, but I'm going to upgrade mine to the $2.99 a month for tetrabyte, which is two tetrabytes. So I don't know how many gigabytes that is equals out to, but that's a that's you know two ninety nine a month, one ninety nine a month. That's something small, cheap, you know. And also, I do not pay for the expensive cap cut. I do not pay for the expensive cover. I don't. I don't have no payment plan on none of this stuff. Like any editing software that I told y'all I use, I do not have no. Trinity don't buy stuff like that. Trinity, that's not me. That's not me. I do, I'm not gonna spend money on something that's just not me. So yeah. Yeah, something I did see another one. Oh, yeah, I did see some another one. It said lighting and stuff like that. The lighting does play a big part. Like, make sure your quality is clear. How my lighting is right here. Y'all want to see what this lighting is? It's my lamp. See, my room is like, I would have been, been like that. With the light. I just turned it to the side. Propped it right there. And the camera focus. And you see me. Yeah. Wait, let me adjust it back. Oh, no, no. Right there. I feel like that's better than what I had. But I messed it up. I should have left it alone. But I was telling y'all about the lighting thing. But, y'all. Y'all, my head itch. I'm so ready to take this hair out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch the Get to Know Me video if you want to get to know me. Because I know a lot of y'all are new because I just got, ooh, like, 20 new subscribers in the last, like, two days. Like, literally a day, to be honest. Like, yesterday I got 12 new subscribers. And I was at, I think I was at 123 or something. And I'm at 140. So, yeah, this just give me things. I just figured out what worked for me. Oh, something y'all can't do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, YouTube Shorts. YouTube shorts, like basically when you go on YouTube and let me, I'm not sure if my iPad will do it because it's not a phone. And now it's acting up. Let me see if it would, you know, it's loading. Okay, when you press that at the bottom, like the plus, and you see where, uh -oh. You see where it says, oh no, my iPad don't do it. But it say, it should say shorts, video, posts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's gonna tell you like all the stuff, right? Basically, press shorts and shorts can be up to 60 seconds. You can make sure it's shorts to like where your, your stuff gonna come from. Cause I can show y'all. Literally, I can show y'all my an 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 analytics, whatever it's called. Yeah, basically, Hmm, is it gonna do I do it sideways so y'all can see? It's not telling me my view. Oh, okay. So you can already see. I posted a video. These are the videos I posted yesterday. You see how many views they got? Like three something, right? And then I posted um these three right here were posted today. One of them got 63 views, one of them got one view, and one of them got no views. Like, you just gotta see what works, literally. And you can delete it, re-upload it with a different sound, and see if it works. You do not have to remake a video if it don't do well. Delete it, well don't delete it, save it, re-upload it with a different sound, I'm telling y'all. Um, this video I did yesterday. Let me pause it, and I'm gonna show y'all. Um, 
uh, I got, look, you can see all like the information that it's telling you. Like I got 2K views that like tell you all the information. Um, how many more subscribers I got. It said I got 12 extra subscribers. Yeah. And it tells you the watch time and yeah. And that was just a video of me getting ready for church. And make sure you put in title. Oh, titles. I'm thinking of all this stuff at the end. Make sure you put titles on your videos. Like titles like get ready. Like this one says, um, I gotta go on it. This one says at the top, get ready me for church, right? All on cap cut. It is on cap cut. Everything on cap cut. But yo. I think that's enough tips. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.